So if you get this E2F2 or F2 E2 error code on your Whirlpool dishwasher, you try flipping the breaker, waiting a minute, and that doesn't work, uh, you can try this. I ordered this part from partsdoctor.com. It's about 75 bucks with shipping and tax. Not too bad. Um, and this is the dishwasher that I have uh, model number listed there. It will probably work for other newer Whirlpool models as well. Um, go ahead and start out with a T15 Torx bit after you've uh, cut the power at the breaker, of course, and uh, remove all these uh, bolts right here, screws around the, uh, the trim of the inside of the dishwasher. Once you get that out, you'll see uh, this part right up here. Not really sure what you call it, but I just used an adjustable wrench. There's one little screw holding that on there and uh, came right off after I got that. So uh, once you get it off, this is what you'll see. Uh, this plastic, clear plastic part right here is the user interface. That's what you're going to be removing. Uh, I think it's like three sixteenths inch bolts holding it in and some retaining clips. Uh, didn't put up too much of a struggle trying to get that out. Once you get that off, you'll see these, uh, see right here where your vent is. There's a gasket around there. Mine was loose, kind of coming off. So I just kind of super glued it back into place. Could be that some moisture was getting in there and caused that issue. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, anyway, once I did that, I put my other, my new user interface back in there, cut the power back on, and uh, that worked for me. So hopefully it'll work for you guys too.